I believe in almost everything he believes in. I'm going to back him fully. You've been in the MPP for so long. Born into, <laughs> born into the UP tradition, yes. Yes, why decide to leave because of Alan? I'm, li I'm not leaving. I mean, MPP working for Alan. It's confusing, eh? But the rules are clear. Once you decide to jump behind him, you forfeit your membership. Do you oh, not? thank you. So they are sacking me. That's what you want to tell me now. You know, so they sack me from MPP. I believe I'm one of the people in, in MPP who would like to speak the truth. We would like to enlighten people in MPP. We would like to strengthen MPP if we can. If not, there's a way out. So if they want to sack me, ask what you have to say, the constitution says whatever. My spirit is still MPP, the, the original MPP, Kufos MPP, Buzias MPP, Alan's MPP. The spirit is in me, the blood is in me. So you can take off my clothing. That's exactly what they are doing. But the spirit, the old MPP, not the present MPP, I am. So if I forfeit this one, so be it. I'm so proud to be a follower of Alan Kujetse Matu. I know he's going to save Ghana in a way. So I'm going to follow him. I'm going to work with him. I will spend the last penny that I have to help this cause. Son, pray for us. We are following Alan. That's interesting. So, but as far as you're concerned, you will not leave the party. It is for them to decide what to do. I haven't resigned yet. That's what it says. Okay? In MPP, now, you can't speak your mind. You can't suggest. You can suggest nobody will listen to you. Okay? Alan could say anything, suggest anything. It's a key. The Achim Mafia. I'm not talking about the Achim. No. I'm talking about the Achim Mafia in Achim Ebuakwa. You know the people I'm talking about. They won't let you speak your mind. They just, you know, arrange everything to support their cause. And some of us are into fight. And if by speaking our mind we are out, so be it. But in spirit, we are co-force co MPP people. Now, I believe it's more like what people are saying. Now, next patriotic party. And if I'm out of what people are calling the next patriotic party, thanks be to God. No regret. We will fight on a good soldier. So it's no longer the new patriotic party, it's now Nanes patriotic party for you. Oh no, that's what I hear. I know it's new patriotic party, but that's what is out there in Asante region. People are saying that. I know it's new patriotic party. You know, I don't mean to spy them in any way. That is what I know. Uh, but you also, you're, you're saying that this new NPP, that the old MPP you were part of, you are saying there was an old MPP and a new MPP, and they are two different things? Oh, oh yes. My son, I'm talking about the spirit of MPP. What MPP is made of? The initial MPP. Remember, Alan was a founding member of this party. Okay? There is something people don't want us to bring out. This MPP that you have now, we have a party called UNC, which belongs to Naneku Fuado and his uncle Pauli. Maybe some of you were a bit young, I don't know you. But if I sing this song, it will remind you of something. They were going with this song, God's way, that was best. You and see all the way, convincing a year clean, pa, willia, necro. Kufu came and decided to bring everybody together. So we work as a team with the PFP, the root of N uh, the Kufu's MPP. The new one, I'm saying this because the spirit with which they brought into being MPP, what MPP, real MPP, 
believed in is not what we are practicing now. Unlawful MPP. I'm calling it unlawful in the sense that they are not using those things put down in our laws to operate the MPP that we have. So, so many things turn out to be unlawful. Can you imagine 10 people going to vie for a position? Nine out of the 10, they took a decision to appeal to the National Council, the second highest, you know, power in that, uh, what do you call it, decision making in MPPR party, that we want to have the elections at one place because during John Bordeaux and Co's elections, there were around four uh, 4,000 people. They all voted at one place. Well, why not? The nine of us wanted to vote at one place. They said, no. Information reaching some of us. Our president said, no, over my dead body, it will not happen. Let's make sure we separate them. What was the idea? Were they separated to, to save costs? Yes, they didn't know. It was to give opportunity to some people to do what they did. There were supposed to be five people following one uh, aspirant. So 10 aspirants stand by 50 in a room where the people, be, people had to vote. Believe you me, it was part of the guidelines. When it got to the time, somebody took a decision that no, you're going to present only one person to be the overseer for you. Can you imagine that? They, they keep changing the rules as we move on. Please, this is not the MPP that we joined. This is not the UP tradition that we were born into. So I'm talking about the old one with all the beliefs, gentle guys going strictly according to the rules and regulations of the game, the laws, and so on. People have hijacked the party, and they are the Achim Mafia. And you know them. And some MPP MPs, who, with all due respect, some of them cannot speak their minds because of money. Some of us can go that way. We speak our minds, we tell the truth, but in a very polite way we pray that we speak our minds, but in a very polite way to change the face of this country. So Allah has come up. You can't determine his destiny for him. No way. He was a founding member. Nene Kufuado didn't have his signature there. Nene Kufuado was not a founding member. His father wasn't. His uncle, Paul, he wasn't a founding member of MPP. Alan was. You come in, you don't read what is there. You read and you don't follow. And you want to push this gentle guy aside. You want to push him out of the party. And you've done just that. There's a car, a council. If you permit to call a Sunchiasa, a my boy Joe, you can take the party to action. You can take the party to action. You're going to explain all the issues to people down there. Don't tell me a chance to vote for a goat. No, we have never voted for a goat. We are disciplined people. We are not as stupid, excuse my language, as some people think. We're going to do the right thing and we need to see. So, Madam Hildado will campaign for Alan and ensure that Alan gets the votes in the Ashanti region specifically. <laughs> you want to just hammer it for MPP, whoever, to think then, then Hilda is out of the party, I think. Um, I'm campaigning now, am I not? My son, I'm campaigning. I'm going to campaign. God be my helper. I'm going to campaign for Alan Samatim. I don't just take decisions. You can't buy my conscience with money. I've been out of parliament for years. And thank be to God. I'm surviving. Not only surviving. With all due respect, I'm living good. I don't need the name MPP assistance now to give me anything to survive. This party started for you 
UGCC, NM, UP, whatever. So what is it if we form a new one called MPP and we can't make our people happy? We can't make people belong to the party. I'm a party. And the, those people from Athens all taking a decision. Straight jacket, follow us, do this. I always suck you. If you are pulling certain executives and you don't follow Baumia, if you are not going to vote for Nana Kufuado, if you are not going to uh, do what the president tells you through Baumia and Co., we will suck you as if they buy food for those people. It's out of sheer emotion, love for the party. You know, we don't do these things that we are doing. Okay? Please. But the general secretary okay. clearly denies all these allegations that who, no one who? has hijacked the party. Justin, Frim, uh, Justin Frimpong Kodia, who, who is the general secretary, denies this allegation. Says these decisions were made by national council. The matter was put to a vote. Don't threaten national council. You are threatening it too much. <laughs> what is it? You know, son, I respect his views. I respect his position. That was what was making Alan quiet in the party. What else could he have come out to say? But I can give you a typical example if things work that way. When uh, Mr. Uh, I forgot name, Zachariah was beaten up by uh, a former pre um, Vice President Baumier's people, when the committee called Honorable uh, Hobson Adoye to come and explain to them why he made a comment that people were sharing money at the party office. They called him. They called uh, Honorable Kennedy a Japan to come and explain to the, the, to the committee and maybe the council the meaning of soda. Nobody, and I'm saying nobody, has had the strength call Zachariah to ask him what happened, to call people around, to ask them openly, let the public know. All these things the public got to know. Did they call Zachariah? Allah made a petition in that regard and others. Did anybody make a comment on that? And yesterday, Honorable Amir Kunfi was on TV, I think TV3, to tell us that the committee is going to bring out a report, not that he didn't listen to Allah. If you're going to bring out a report, a fair one, devoid of party something up, devoid of apparatus influence, devoid of Akim Mafia's influence, I'm asking, did he call Zagarga to find out what happened to him? So how come you're going to write a report to cover that petition? without calling people involved to come and explain what happened to the world. Come on! Please, the general secretary, if the general secretary for MPP, he has to defend the party. He has to defend the party. So Allah of us in it couldn't bring certain things out because he was in the party. Now he's out. He can speak in his mind. He can explain on the... So... Yes, could be have said that, but the example I've just given you indicates that the report will not have come out with anything good for anybody. It's just a, uh, a team mafia's report. That is all. It's like a lodge. You got to be in to understand what is happening. That is MPP for you now. Democratic, patriotic. They say all those things. But if you are in it to a certain level that we understand, those things are no more there. I'm afraid MPP, you know, <laughs> has collapsed and that. And they could forward any change. You know, I, it's collapsed. If you are hmm. That's me. The base That's of me. the MPP is in the Ashanti region. Is this, yes, is this a, is, is stronghold? How can you suggest yeah. that People sitting at, you said, at Chime Boakwa, have hijacked a party where the strength is in the Ashanti region. That's why I use the word hijack. And that's it. Through the constitutional means, they couldn't have come out with such a decision. Okay? So we use the word hijack. 
and it speaks for itself. You give power to somebody. Alan stepped down for Nana Kufuado, thinking he was going to go Kufuado's way, thinking he was going to go Buzia's way. You know, we give, uh, we give power to somebody, somebody gets power, somebody decides to do what he wants with power. He believes in power and not power to say. Power to almost be an autocrat. So what are you asking me? If I have the power, I have the means. Democracy can never flourish in poverty. I use the money that I have to influence decisions, to influence the way people will act, to influence how delegates will vote. BMW, Baumia must by all means win. Instead of Baumia must win. Nana, Nana says Baumia must win. I don't see answer. Or my boy, John, Alan is no more in. Baumia is going to win if you know Kennedy doesn't win. So they are they are on track. I stand to yes, but it's been hijacked with power and money, and that is what we are going to correct. Ashanti gave MPP one, almost 1.8 million votes. And some MPP, MPs and people in power are saying, oh, leave Ashanti. And now come here, say, and call. Ashanti will vote no matter who you put there. Come and try as this side. People, when they don't have information, can only act on what they hear, what they know. But now, because Alan is out of MPP, you will have to go and explain to the people in the Ashanti region what necessitated this decision. And people will get to know and understand. They are, most of them, I can't say most because I haven't heard from everybody. Let me use a better word. A good number of them are not jubilating in Ashanti Kingdom. Some are saying, oh, we were not going to vote. We didn't know what to do. Vote for Mahama, no, I'm MPP. But I don't like Baumia. Well, I would have preferred to some extent uh, Kennedy, but Kennedy, I have my reservation one, two, three, then they, 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 they give out those reasons. So we were confused. Now we are happy. That's a something for you now. Mm. So, so that, that Asante, Asante agrees with you. I, I can't say everybody because okay. not everybody has got in to understand what is happening. But I'm saying that a good number of them, those people we've contacted, people we've talked to, people who have been calling, they have understood the message. And some are going to understand the message. My point is, they, 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 they paint us so black that we don't even know what we're doing. Excuse my language. Some of us are so stupid. No matter what you tell us, if you top it a little money, you behave. It's insulting. It's no more like that. They didn't have inf information, and because of their passion for the party, they behaved in certain direction. No more. We're going to get the information. We're going to give them the message. We're going to be as truthful as we can as human beings. We give them the message. We are not in here to you know harm anybody in MPP. If somebody worked against MPP, it was Nanette Anko Paoli, who during uh, uh, Victor Wusu's time, during the runoff, to support uh, His Ex Excellency Hila Liman to become a president against that party. And these things are not coming out. Please. The party has been hijacked at the Achim Mafia. Will this decision not split the party that you worked for your entire adult life? Will it not do what? Split the party. Virtually uh, destroy the party that you worked for your entire adult life. That is not my thinking. The party can be there. People who are there and the, 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 the power that be, they are telling them not to come and follow Allah. It's true. Maybe it, there's a clause in the constitution, okay? They know. 
and people are scared because they love the party. All those people are, are going to maybe stay in the party. That's the dangerous part. They're going to stay in the party, but choose Alan as their presidential candidate. What's wrong with that? So the party will be there, but it will be hollow. People who believe in what Alan Sematin is doing, people who believe that Alan Sematin is going to uh, make Ghana great again, change the face of politics in Ghana, you know, for Ghana to rise again. All those people, though they will be holding MPP, uh, what do we call tickets or cars or whatever you call it, will vote up for Alan. Some people from NDC will vote for Alan, not because they are leaving NDC, not because they don't believe in NDC, but some of them might think that Mahama has come out, he's worked for years, and he has been able to bring out whatever is in him. And uh, Daumia is not an option. They've gotten somebody, they believe and trust him, that people, uh, some people were pushing him out. He's been able to come in. He's been able to come in honorably to lead them. These people are going to vote. So it will not break MPP per se. It will be there, but with almost, uh, I don't want to give the percentage, but a good number of them believing in what Allah is doing and coming to follow him. They won't tell you they've resigned from the party. That's what MPP people should reflect on. They will stay there with you, but will choose their president. That is what I'm saying. Thank you very much for speaking to us. You, you, you're welcome, son. Mm. May God help you to go through your program. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Hilda Addo is former member of parliament for Kwada. So, in fact, we've been speaking to her for a long time on.